30-year-old painter from South Africa. I've been painting for about 10 years now. I actually initially studied classical piano and slowly transitioned into the arts, painting storyboards for commercials, doing logo illustrations and then gradually getting into the fine art industry and having exhibitions and painting lots of murals too, which is what I do for a living. So I'm actually quite an unconventional painter. I'll use squeegees that people use for cleaning their car windscreens, or I'll use like scrapers that you're meant to use for cement. And I'll use that to kind of destroy my paintings and then build them up again. And by doing that, you have some amazing textures that get layered. I was contacted by a Bend Gallery, which is in Denver, Colorado. I've been following this gallery for years and also following the artists that they represent literally since before I was painting. It's, it's really a dream come true. When COVID came along and I was no longer able to travel there in person to have the exhibition, I felt slightly crushed by it. I've spent seven months preparing for this exhibition, working countless hours to kind of prepare the work. I think something people don't understand that much is how much preparation goes into the idea behind an exhibition. Just coming up with a concept is so crucial and if you have a really bad idea, the whole exhibition can fall flat on its face. My very first solo exhibition was called Curb and that had to do with our relationship with our urban environment. And it was kind of about this weird irony that develops in urban areas where we find ourselves kind of feeling more isolated the closer we live together. I really, really loved that, that narrative and I wanted to kind of weave it into this show as well. Every single one of the pieces that I produced was almost like a still moment of people watching. A lot of them will say something about the person that's inside them. It's like a frozen moment in time that we're just kind of witnessing from an outside perspective. This piece I decided to call um, an ode tonight, um, which is kind of like a little homage to the, the nighttime. You feel like you're the only person on earth and you have this, this strange sort of respect for the night and this, this weird creative energy that comes over you. This piece is called Chance Encounters. It is all about running into a stranger that you have never met or never seen before, but you lock eyes and have this really strange moment of realization of like a, a connection. That piece is called Bathed in Night. I wanted to create that piece as a little bit of an inspiration for like nighttime walks. That piece is called Life Work. It looks as though it's this weird sort of diorama where you're looking down into someone else's world and you have this like window moment where you're kind of peering into the perspective of someone else's life. This body of work is like this, this baby of mine that I'm kind of boxing up and getting ready to ship off and it's like a, a strange part of my soul that I'm saying goodbye to.